I'm Jenny Carlson here with Gina Mizell. We're in Lubbock, Texas, where Oklahoma State has defeated Texas Tech 66 to 6. Gina, an undefeated season, continues. 10 and 0 are the Cowboys. In a 66-6 game, it seems like we should talk offense, but let's start with defense. What impressed you about the Cowboys defense today? Well, just the fact that after they gave up um 45 points to Kansas State, granted one of those was on a pick six. Um, just the way that they came out and really shut this uh, Texas Tech offense down, which we know can score a lot of points. And they basically said the players that we just talked to that, you know, it, it kind of helped that they face this offense every day in practice. They face the spread offense. And so they felt like they were pretty prepared for it. But I think this was a really big statement for this team uh, after giving up so many yards and so many points to Kansas State that they were able to really just shut this team down. And, and they, they pitched a shutout. The only uh, scoring that uh, Texas Tech had was on a fumble recovery for a touchdown. So they did their job today for sure. Okay, let's talk offense. 66 points, lots out there for the Cowboys. Brandon Whedon, 400-plus yards a day. Whedon just continues to impress. How does he keep doing this? Well, I mean, I think he should definitely be in the Heisman conversation now. If not one of the top three, maybe <laughs> even possibly, depending on what happens with Andrew Luck the rest of the way, he should maybe be your front runner now. But, yeah, he was just, again, so accurate, which a really good point brought up was that it was so windy today out here in Lubbock, and he was still just able to find everyone. It obviously helped that Josh Cooper was back. He was really a – that was a really good connection there in that first half and just really, you know, finding everyone as far as Justin Blackman got two scores. Cooper had over 100 yards. Josh Stewart had two touchdowns. And so – He's able to spread it out as always, and I uh, wound up with another day over 400 yards. I mentioned the 10 and 0 to start with, and obviously a big game coming up with Stanford and Oregon. But regardless, the way that this team won this game and went to 10 and 0, this has to be a good one to stick in your back pocket when you're talking about BCS rankings, polls, those sorts of things. This has to be a good one to have, especially after what happened last week with you know their one, I guess the one game that they've escaped all season as far as and people are looking at it like, oh, is this team vulnerable? Well, I think they pretty much squashed that today as far as they can again go on the road dominate a team that um, you know knows how to put a lot of points on the board and and again this is a team that beat OU and so when you combine all of that um, I think that they just keep showing that they're probably the second best team in the country and again we'll see what happens with Stanford and Oregon uh, later on tonight but they've definitely showed that they deserve to be in that driver's seat um, for the national title game. All right 66-6 in Lubbock thanks for joining us and be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.